this is how I set up my camera for easy navigation in Blender. There's obviously all different ways of moving your camera, camera around, but this is the way I find uh, the easiest. So the first thing I'll do is I delete my cube, hit delete. And the next thing I'll do is I select my camera and then I'll pan over to this a little icon here, click on it, and then I click down here, press zero, return, zero, return, zero, return, and then I move down to my rotations, zero, return, and then the final one, zero, return, zero, return. Okay, your camera should now look like this. The next thing you do is you go add, empty, cube. You then move your cube down on this blue axis, move it down to about here, it doesn't matter where you put it, but I, I just find it just a, just a half decent. That'll do. Right, okay. The next thing I'll do is just click on the camera and then I'll lock the location, lock the um, all the location, then I'll lock all the rotations. So it should look like this now. And then the next thing I'll do is I press Shift and then I click my cube. And then what I then do is I go object and then I go parents and then you and basically I'm making the um, camera a child object of the cube so no matter where the cube goes the camera would always look at it you can obviously use the hotkey if you want but I just thought I'd show you how to do it if you're a new user of Blender and you're not familiar with all the hotkeys so you just go object and then object keep transform and then that little um, extra icon will appear, just showing that it's, it's located, it's connected. Okay. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to show you how the scene would look. So if I add a Susanna object, so I've got add mesh monkey, and then I click on um, the cube, and then I move it up. And then if I go to animation, so this is the camera view in my animation uh, view. So anything comes to render, this is what it would look like. So then if I now rotate the cube, that's the view. And obviously you can move in and out. You can also uh, zoom in and out just by um, clicking on the camera now. And you can rotate. So if you positioned, and then rotate it. And we can do our, our movements. Right guys, and now I'm gonna show you how to animate a camera. Basically, make sure you're in animation mode if you're not in the animation mode already. That's our camera view. So if we click on the box, the empty box, and then if we then um, set a keyframe, how you go about setting a keyframe is very simple. You press the I key, press that, and then you want to scroll down to a location rotation scroll. Click on that. And a keyframe is created. You should have that there. So remember it's I key. And then this is this creates in your in your time slide bar. Now basically what what you have to do then is turn on the automatic record uh, keyframe actions, and then which is this button here. So we'll click on that. And then if we slide this slider by clicking the um, right hand side mouse button and just slide it to 250 and now if we then rotate the empty box along this blue axis now what's happened now is a keyframe has been created so if we then scrub that again by sliding our right hand mouse button we'll see a movement. 
So that's simply how you animate a camera. Okay, so the next stage is we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to render the output. <coughs> so to render uh, an animation, all you do is you go to, uh, before you even do that, let's first of all um, set, set what rendering engine we're going to use. So this bar here, you've got your rendering and you've got EV, you've got workbench, you've got cycles. For this uh, tutorial, I'm only going to use workbench. So I'll click on workbench. And then you can add your, your shadows and your, uh, your cavities. And you've got to make sure that this icon here is displayed. Let's put a floor in there so we can see the shadows uh, better. Scale that. So basically, this view here is what you're going to be seeing in your render. This is not what you. This view here is not what you see in your render. Just remember, this is your your output window, your camera view, basically. So again, what you're going to see is that animation. I actually pointed to that with my finger for some reason, as if you're sitting there behind me. Right. So the next the next stage. Once we've got that all set up. We then go to output. So just below this um, icon here, it's like a printer type of icon. So basically, you can set up your um, your outputs. So you've got PNG, BMP, MPEG, AVI. You can do whatever you want to do. For this particular test, we're just going to just do uh, PNGs. So that's going to basically render out. 250 individual um, images. So it says frame start one to 250 and it's got steps. And then you've got, if I say for example, I wanted to render out, um, so if I wanted to do step and I wanted to do, if I put two in there, it basically would render out 125. And then you've got a frame rate, basically it's 24 frames per second, basically, um, in a second, there's 24 individual pictures in a second. So 24 frames per second is the, the usual standard. So you just leave that. And that's it. So that's all set up. Um, the one last thing we've got to do is give it a file. So if we click on there, and then we go to this little icon up here, and we have, well, first of all, you want to decide where you want to put it, this new folder. Um, so let's just go to, let's say, let's put it on our desktop because we know we won't lose it then. So we go desktop and then we go click on this folder here, this icon, click on it. And then that's it. It's just come up, give it a name, call it, um, Susanna. And then basically we click on it, give it, give the, the actual file a name as well. Say render. And accept and then what you should see in there is that if you if you see that you know you're on the money then you've got um, your compression your RGB and it's pretty straightforward you just have to play with the settings but compression the higher the setting the compression setting the the, the lower the resolution just play around but you work it out right so now we're ready to rock and roll so what we do then do now is we go up to render and then we go render animation yeah click on that and then what we will start doing it will start rendering each individual frame now um, it's rendering each frame now it doesn't look like it's doing much because each it's only moving a little fraction at a time but it's actually rendering it so that's it guys um, that's how you do you can see that it's rendering it because it's moving, moving the frames there. So right, that's how you you do it. Um, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Right, I'm out. Later's.